We are emergency care. We are first responders. When minutes count, we are here. We are faith. Head coach Danny Neighbors and the Panthers uh, had a great outing on Friday night. Uh, and it sounds to me like, uh, from my review of the game, that the defense uh, were the heroes. Oh, yes. I don't know if it was a great game or not, but <laughs> we did come away with a win, which, which you know, bottom line, that's what matters. And uh, Well, yeah, they're always great when you win. Yes, and we, and we feel like the kids have always stepped up and made plays all year long whenever we've had to. Defense played outstanding, and honestly, they won the ball game for us. Offensively, uh, we were probably a little bit sloppy. We had 18 penalties. We've got to correct a lot of that, you know, in the next few weeks to get wins. Something tells me uh, Coach Neighbors will be talking about uh, that specifically in practice today. Yes, and, and you know, the kids know it too. I mean, uh, they're pretty self-conscientious of, of what we do and, and how we do it. We lost some kids to some injuries, and hopefully they'll get well this week. And then uh, we'll go back and make sure we know our assignments. I was going to ask you about the injuries. So it looks like just one game out uh, typically for the kids that got hurt? Well, uh, Brandon Bryant's our center, and, and he didn't play at all. He's had surgery, so we've lost him, and, and you know, he's a two-year starter. And then the other ones are little nagging injuries. I think they'll heal by Friday. Right. Uh, then who do you have uh, coming up, and uh, how do you prepare for them? Well, we got Callisburg, and it's always a big game. In our district, I, you know, I really feel like any given Friday night, as you look at last week's scores, any Friday night the other team can win. It's basically we got to have mental preparation and get ready and, and go on the road again. Right, and uh, talking about mental preparation, your team uh, wins on Friday night, but uh, are you guys capable of putting, I think I know the answer to this, putting that behind and going forward uh, fresh week? Oh, sure, I, I think so, and maybe the off week is what done it. You know, I thought that we had been improving every game. But like I said, offensively we were a little bit sloppy, but defense came through and, and basically won the game for us. Well, terrific. Let's talk to a couple of those players then. Okay. Neighbor, a couple of your standout players from that uh, outing on Friday night. Introduce these guys. We want to visit with them. Well, we have two juniors here. We have Kyler Christian and Hayden Brown. Both of them play in the backfield for us, and they're also outside linebacker and defensive backs for us. Terrific. We'll spend a couple of minutes with these guys. Uh, Kyler and Hayden. Kyler, um, you come out on the winning side uh, Friday night. Give us your assessment from uh, your perspective in that game, your own play and your team's. Well, uh, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't really do anything big. There's a couple of plays. The team, team definitely held together. The defense came through for us. Definitely gave us the win for sure. Yeah, it was an important, uh, important game on the, on the part of the defense. And how about from your perspective? Oh, yeah. We, uh, we did play sloppy on offense, but def definitely both sides of the ball did what they could. And just their defense was good. And, you know, we couldn't get through, but our defense definitely did come through, like everybody else said. And it turned out to be a good game. So you put that behind and uh, 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 get ready for uh, a brand new week, a brand new week of practice. This being Monday, you guys watch films today? Yes, we do. And <clears throat> and looks like you got a, a beautiful day outside uh, uh, for, for a day of practice. Uh, what do you do any differently than what you uh, normally do prepare for this uh, upcoming game? Uh, More the same? Pretty, it's just pretty much the same. You know, just go out there. Still need to work harder every week, you know. Winning comes from working harder every day in practice, not just whenever your fourth quarter ends and you come out on top. It's every day in practice going out there and working hard to be better. And from your perspective? Yeah, we just – everything's pretty much the same, but we just got to come from last game and with a better mental preparation and just work from that. Uh, you guys are juniors. What do you like to do when you're away from uh, the football field? Uh, I don't know. Just basically – Rest up? <laughs> yeah. Just – Lay back and, I don't know, rest. How so. about you? Uh, just kick back with my friends, just chill out, and you know, have a good time. Okay, I've been doing this informal survey for the last two, three weeks. Uh, how many hours a week do you spend on Facebook? God. Look at that smile. I don't even know. Is that, is that a guilty smile? <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. Oh, give, give us an estimate. How many hours a week? This is, this is a non-scientific survey. A lot. I don't know. I'm always on Facebook. Oh, do you have it on your phone? Yeah. I do. How about you? I don't know. Not that much, but it kind of varies. 
some weeks I'll be on it a lot, and some weeks I won't get on it at all. Yeah, it's kind of tempting. It's a great way to follow your friends. I know. Well, that's how I, I tell my wife and I track our five kids. So what can I say? <laughs> anyway, best of luck to you uh, on this upcoming game and on the season. Thank you. Thank you.